I'm Dr. Kelvin Choi. I'm the Statement Investigator at the Division of Intramural Research at the National Institute on Minority Health and Health Disparities. We are trying to generate research that can inform us in terms of the action that we're going to take to reduce health disparity. We provide training to up-and-coming scientists that is interested in health disparity research. In my team, we have summer interns that would come and work with us on some data collection projects and data analysis project. And we also have post bac fellows, which they finished their bachelor's degree and they were considering pursuing a graduate education. And in between time, they want to gain experience in conducting research. And then we have the postdoc program, which offer research opportunity and training for people who completed their PhD and other doctorate degrees and would like to gain further experience in conducting research. In that sense, the fellows that we have are really you know, scientists in training, and we provide them on the ground experience on actually conducting research and at the same time preparing them to be independent investigator down the road. And here we're trying to actually build a human subject research program that we're going to bring people in and do some behavior intervention. And for that, we need a research nurse to actually help us to make sure that the subject coming in are safe and being cared for. We come together from different disciplines with different trainings and backgrounds. We all work together to solve the problem that we all see that is the problem for health disparity, which is tobacco use. We know that tobacco use is more common among people from disadvantaged backgrounds, for example, those of lower socioeconomic status and also certain racial ethnic minority groups. How do we understand the reason for this disparity happening? How do we disentangle these relationship and how do we develop interventions? And for that, we need people from different backgrounds and different training to kind of bring different perspectives so that we can all look at the same problem and, and exchange our scientific ideas and we can move the agenda forward. It's great that we have treatment for diseases. It's better that we don't get sick to begin with. And the suffering that comes with the pain and the discomfort and the burden during the treatment process, if they are avoidable, is to the best that we can avoid them. And so, so we have research uh, contribute a lot to that aspect of it. And at the same time, social behavior research has implication for even treatment. And we know that smokers who continue to smoke actually would reduce the effectiveness of the chemotherapy, for example. So even in those settings, when people are seeking treatment, providing social behavior modification and intervention can improve their quality of life and improve their survivorship. So I think social behavior research is Yes, there's a big part of it, and historically we have done on the preventative side, but there's also a tremendous role in treatment side, that we can complement the medical treatment by doing some of these social and behavioral intervention. The intramural program at NIH has been um, focusing on developing new treatment and testing new therapy and trying to be the beacon of hope. And NIH is really good at being that beacon of hope for these people. There is an increasing understanding of the contribution of social and behavioral research to the medical research paradigm, and also understanding how that actually fit into the whole health promotion and disease prevention, and at the same time, treatment and survivorship, our medical treatment paradigm. We need to have more investigators that are actually doing social behavioral research, and we need to facilitate the interactions between the social behavior scientists and basic scientists and clinical scientists. We all have the same vision, which is to improve the health of the people in this country, and at the same time, to reduce and eliminate health disparities.